channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very casual sit down video about something that I think is so important and that not enough people talk about. So as you can tell by the name of this video, this is going to be another weight loss video, but this is probably not going to be a video like many others you've seen because this is the side of weight loss that people like don't want to talk about because there's so many positive to positives to weight loss that it's hard to talk about some of the stuff that isn't quite so great or isn't so easy. So I'm just going to kind of put it all out there for you. Um, please don't leave me any hate comments if you're like super into fitness and this comes off wrong because I really don't want it to come off wrong and I'm also into fitness and I think that health and well-being is like the number one most important thing but I'm going to say some things that sound like that's contradictory but it's not. Just like bear with me. So I'm gonna get right into so, it. So the first thing that people don't really tell you about losing weight is that it's not a cure-all by any means. Um, I, again, was really unhappy when I was overweight and I thought that losing weight would make me happier. And I do have to say like I did gain a lot of confidence and I am a lot happier now, but directly following losing the weight and during, like that was probably some of the most, like the least happy I've ever been in my life. So. If you're not a happy person before you lose weight, losing weight is not going to guarantee that you're going to be happy or you're going to be like this brand new person. Like it happened for me that way after a while, but at first when I lost all the weight, I was still that person inside that was extremely insecure and was extremely awkward like with herself and didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be. And that doesn't just go away because you lose weight. You're still that person. Like you're not going to become this outspoken crazy person all of a sudden if you weren't that way before. So make sure that you really think about your emotional well-being too because I think that's just as important and people let that slide often, especially when working on weight loss because they're so focused on making sure their physical being is healthy. They don't think about their mental along the way and there can be a huge correlation between your mental state and like your weight and the whole process. So that's something that people really don't talk about is if you're not happy before, losing weight does not guarantee that you're gonna feel better afterwards. I know that sucks and I know it's really hard to hear for a lot of people probably because a lot of people wanna say, I'm unhappy because I'm overweight. Well, there are plenty of people who are overweight who are also extremely happy. So you have to really think about is that the reason that you're unhappy or are you actually just a really insecure person and that's something that you need to address with yourself. So I definitely am, and I was just as insecure when I was 100 pounds lighter as I was when I was 100 pounds heavier. I didn't feel that much different for quite a long time, and that was something I had to address with myself is, why don't I feel any different? Why do I feel like the same person that was walking around here 30 clothes sizes ago? Not really, but why didn't I feel different? I obviously was different, and so you really have to work on that internally and try and figure out why exactly you're feeling that way and how you can fix that because losing the weight is not going to fix that for you. I mean, it might help it, but you really have to think about that mentally and internally and you can't expect the scale to make you happy because it really won't. The second thing people don't really tell you about losing weight is how people will react to it. So... I always wanted to be liked when I was younger and in high school and I would have done anything for boys to ask me out or I just, I fed off of that because it was so rare. So when I lost all this weight, I was extremely susceptible to any kind of attention. And let me tell you, there were boys that literally bullied me in high school that approached me once I lost weight. And that is beyond me because I'm not a different person. Obviously I look different, but they hated me in high school, hated me. And were very obvious about it and made my life a living hell. And then after I lost the weight, I had the audacity to ask me out. I just don't understand how those two things correlate. But you have to be so, so careful with yourself because I got very caught up in that. And I was like, wow, like I loved you in high school and you hated me. So like I have this chance now. But no, like they don't deserve to have that chance with you. If that's like the situation you're in, like those people do not deserve your time. Absolutely not. And you need to stay so far away from those people because I don't know how you can look at someone one year and decide they're not worth your time and then look at them a different year and decide that because they're lighter they are. You don't get to choose that. And I don't think if you're someone that's losing weight that you should ever even consider that from someone that has treated you badly in the past because 
that's not something that is just magically gone. It happened. And I don't want to say hold a grudge, but remember it. Like really <laughs> remember that because that is something that's in their heart and that's something that is like a serious problem and I really highly doubt that it's gone. So you really need to watch out for people like that because people will treat you so, so differently. And even people that weren't really mean to you beforehand, it's just different. It really is. So like girls that I thought were so cool at the beginning of college and like wanted nothing to do with me, when I lost the weight, all of a sudden wanted to be my friend and it was just so strange to me. And again, like those people, they don't deserve your time. They really don't and you need to find different friends that would have you know been friends with you before or that were friends with you before or that are interested in the person that you are not what you look like and what you can offer them so you have to be so careful about how people treat you because when you come out of losing weight you're probably super vulnerable like I was and you really need to guard your heart because people will take so much advantage of it and it's not fun and you have to really be so careful so the next thing is that people don't tell you that when you lose a bunch of weight you may not necessarily get any more fit. So I lost 100 pounds and obviously I did get more fit, but when I was 300 pounds, I couldn't do a push-up. I cannot do a push-up now. And I have gone through all the training in the entire world. It doesn't mean that you're just gonna become this like crazy Olympic athlete because you lose weight. You may still be scrawny and like have no muscle mass like I am. Like I just may not be capable of that. And maybe I am and maybe that's something that's in my future. But right now, like, I still can't do that and that's okay, but you have to have really realistic goals for yourself and maybe that's something that just isn't in the cards for you right now or maybe that's something you really have to work towards, but you don't just magically become this fitness guru overnight because you lose weight and I think a lot of people think that. Also, when I started losing weight, I thought that my body would just be banging when I lost all this weight. I thought it would be amazing and I would be out in bikinis and like shredding my stuff, but no, no, no. There's this thing called stretch marks and there's this thing called loose skin and it's real, it's real life and it is not fun. So my body, it did not bounce back the way that I expected it to. It could have been much worse because I really don't, like not really much happened, but at the same time, I don't have this like amazing toned body. I'm still just kind of halfway in between and your body goes through a lot and you can't get out of being a hundred pounds overweight unscathed. You really just can't. So. I'm still self-conscious in a bikini and I'm still a little uneasy because there are parts of my body that really didn't come back from being so overweight. But at the same time, I've gotten so much more used to it and so much more confident in it because I fought for this body. And even though it doesn't look like some crazy Instagram model or anything like that, I died for this body. Literally like morning and night, every single meal, every single drink, every single breath, I worked for this body. So as much as it may not be exactly what I want it to be, I earned it and I'm going to show it off. So like don't be self-conscious but at the same time be kind to yourself because you may not look the way that you think you're going to at the end of this journey as you thought you were going to at the beginning. So be aware that your body can only come back from so much and mine really couldn't all the way, but it, it's fine. It's just, it's not what I expected. And no one really told me that that was gonna happen. So that was something I had to kind of learn on my own, but I also learned on my own to be confident in that and realize the fact that, yeah, I have stretch marks, but those were scars from when I was a totally different person and I'm not that person anymore. And I can be proud of that and proud of the fact that I worked so hard to be this person that I am today. And so what if I have a little loose skin? I mean, is everyone perfect? Is everyone airbrushed like people on magazines? No, and it's totally okay because that has nothing to do with the person I am on the inside and it has nothing to do with my self-worth. So don't base your self-worth on what you look like before or after you lose weight and understand that your body may not look the way you think it will, but it is still beautiful and it is still amazing because you put it through hell and it made it. So that is a huge deal. So this last thing is probably gonna be the most controversial thing that I'm going to say as if everything else wasn't kind of already but I don't think that losing weight is really necessarily for everyone so and that sounds bad and I'm not trying to say like that I encourage being unhealthy but right now I'm probably like 15 10 pounds overweight and I think I'm fine honestly like if you're I'm happy and you're by all doctor standards healthy but a little overweight and you don't want to lose weight and you're confident in the person you are, like don't feel like you have to because the world says you do. And don't feel like you have to because you don't fit into your BMI range, which by the way is total BS, but 
you know, if you're happy the way you are, live your life and be happy. Make sure you're healthy and make sure you're getting the most out of everything. But if you're like kind of overweight and it's not bothering you, like don't let it. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm way happier now than I've ever been. And I'm heavier now than I was a year ago. And I don't know. I just don't think it correlates. And I don't think that being a little overweight means you're not healthy. So definitely, I mean, talk to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. Like, don't let me tell you that being overweight is okay. But I think that it is just as important as being mentally healthy. And that if you are by all doctor standards healthy and you're a little overweight, like it, it's okay. I mean, you don't have to be what everyone else tells you to be. Be the person that makes you happy and the person that you're proud of every single day when you look in the mirror. And that's what really matters, quite honestly, or that's what I think. And I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people feel. So don't let the world pressure you into being a size two because not everyone is. And if you are, that's amazing because that's the person that you are. But don't let people tell you you have to be something you're not because it's not worth so, it. That was it. I don't know. That was just a bunch of random stuff all thrown together, but I feel like I need to warn people because a lot of people are like trying to lose weight now because of my other video, but I need you to know what you're getting into. I need to tell you that it's a thousand percent worth it. I would never go back and do it any differently, but there were things I wish I knew. And I'm glad that I'm here to tell you guys that because it would have prepared me a lot more for what I went through. And I don't want, it's Bennett by the way, and I don't want you going into it blind thinking it's going to be just some magical journey when it is hard as hell and don't let it discourage you but be so aware and please be kind to yourself and be easy on yourself you're trying the best that you can and you'll get there when you get there like do your best and try and get healthy but don't be so hard on yourself that it's miserable or it will never be worth it so that was my video um sorry this was kind of just like a long ramble i literally decided to make this at eight o'clock at night which for me is really late i know it sounds really bad i sound like an old woman but I just think it's so important and I think that, I mean, I have a platform now, I mean, not really, but I think if you have any kind of following, any kind of platform and you don't use it to speak to people in some way, you're wasting it and I'm not going to waste this. Even if there's only 150 people watching this, I want to talk to those 150 just like I would talk to them if they were standing right here. So if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, like, please let me know. I'm really honestly here for y'all and I just want everyone to have an amazing experience and have an amazing life. And if I can contribute to that in any way I want to. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope that this talks to you or spoke to you in some way. But have a good night.